Hominic, just looking to give you some feedback on um, your task you've written here. This is the first that I've seen of it. Um, so hopefully it gives you some good feedback. Okay, A, describe one significant practice within Christianity, baptism. I'm not sure how many marks it's worth. I imagine with a describe, it'll probably be worth four marks. Okay. So key verb, describe, so indicate the main features of. One significant practice, baptism. So this is very open, so you can basically um, describe or indicate the main features of probably four, if it's worth four marks, four aspects of baptism, which can be the process itself, um, what it's um, born from, um, the core beliefs that it reflects, basically anything about Christianity, because all you're doing is describing one of the practices. It doesn't say describe the ceremony. Um, okay, baptism is a rite of passage, great that welcomes an individual into the Christian community. Fantastic, you've done two things there already. Um, baptism also reflects the idea of repentance and forgiveness as well as cleansing and renewal. Great work. Majority of Christian churches practice the infant baptism. So you've um, incorporated um, the variants on the right-hand side of our um, mind map there, which is really good. The ritual action with water can take um, part in three forms. Great, so you're talking about the different variations here. Uh, immersion, sub, um, su uh, submersion or aspersion, great. And you've described what they are, doing exactly what it's asking to do there. Water is symbolic of purification and cleansing of sin. Excellent. Represented through the life, death, resurrection of Jesus Christ, duly initiating, uh, imitating this Christian belief. That's a really good sentence there. Um, through salvation, so you've gone to a core belief here where a child wears a white garment in the sacrament um, of symbolic to purity and cleansing of original sin. Good. This aspect therefore reinvigorates the community with the beliefs, uh, systems, practices and to their responsibility of welcoming a new member into the community. So um, with the very wide scope for this question, you've done well there by talking about the individual and also the community. And again, I see you're doing um, community here as a word of God revealed to them as a way to come closer to Jesus as he called. The community is therefore consolidating their practice and following in Jesus' last directive. That is a great finish to this. So it's an easy four. Um, if it was out of four, even if it was out of five, you'd be getting a five. Um, one clarification that would make this even better would be um, where you use the term sacrament. Sacrament is used only in the Catholic Church. Um, it's not regarded as a sacrament in um, the Protestant churches. And the um, Salvation Army do not practice baptism. Um, so that could be, at the, so that's a Protestant church. And that could be a clarification that you make here to make it even stronger if you were doing it in um, another response. But that looks really good. Well done.